It's a matter of them making plays when they had to and, and us not making them. Once again, uh, we're close, but um, we're far away. And uh, until we can close that gap and uh, get everybody to be a product of our whole system, That's where we're at, but uh, we're working hard and we got to keep figuring out how to work the, through the problems, get everybody on the practice field consistently and, and coach them, try to make, put them in the spots where they can uh, make a play. Questions? So, uh, is that that third down pass about to kill you on our, on our last series, but wait, can we start at 15, get a pin down and, and, and make a play like that? Is that typical of a... a Sympathy, it's, uh, it's the word I'm going to... It's symptomatic of uh, exactly what's ailing us right now. I mean, you know, I mean, their kid made a nice catch, but you know, and he did a good. That's what I'm talking about. They, they made a play, but I mean, we we got to be better than that, and uh, coach them better, and uh, we got to make the play. Chase seemed like he had a lot more rhythm in that second half, especially in the fourth quarter. How encouraging is that? Even though you lose the game, to see that kind of poise and driving. It's always encouraging to see guys improve. <laughs> but uh, once again, you know, I see certain things that are a little bit different than, than until we look at the tape uh, and go through it. I think we had a couple. You know, Chase is improving, and in, in, in the offense is starting to feel a little bit better. But, you know, he's still in the moment. You know. Coach, you're trying to put a percentage on Montel in practice. Is he 100%, 80%? Do you get a clear picture where he is right now? Well, going into the game, yeah. uh, I, w I would suspect that physically uh, he looked like he was 100%. You know, Condition-wise, uh, you know, I'm not sure he was there condition-wise. And just to follow, just him breaking the record? Well, you know, I love Montel, and he's deserving of uh, every individual accolade that he gets. And, uh, we're certainly uh, very happy for him. I know he's worked hard to get it. Hopefully, he can get some more. Frank, with that, what you have to get done, and then from here, as you pointed out, to go to Clemson uh, right away on the road, does that seem a little overwhelming right now? Well, you know, yeah, that's one way to look at it. I, I, I'm not going to look at it that way, and I, and, and I hope the players aren't. We're not going to look at it that way. It's an opportunity, and uh, you know, you know, we got to keep closing the gap on the things that we need to close the gap on, and we got to keep coming to work and working and getting better because we are who we are in a lot of ways, and I don't need to get into it. And whether we're going to play Clemson or anybody, it's the next game, and. Uh, Great opportunity for his team, so we'll find out tomorrow how we approach it. Uh, are these the same gaps you've been trying to close this season to date, or are they different things popping up in different games? Good question. <laughs> the, the, the problems are there. We're making progress on the problems, but we obviously have to make some more progress. You know, uh, as I said to the team, you know, one of, one of the issues that we're having is, uh, you know, we got to get consistency in practice. Uh, and, and I'm not talking about effort. I'm talking about being out there uh, every practice and being in, you know, right now we have to shuffle some guys and, uh, for whatever reason. And, and it's not an excuse, but it, it shows itself on Saturday. That's, that, that's where we are right now. We're, we're just not uh, consistent, if you will, and, and ready to make that play. And, uh, and, and you have to do it in practice, and you have to do it every day, and you have to do it off the field, and, 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 uh, and you know, we'll get it. We'll get it. The sooner the better. How much do you think it helps, Baz, that you guys started off slow last year and the kids who were here last year know that things can turn around quickly if you take it game by game, week by week? Well, you know, on the surface that sounds like it, it uh, you know, this is a whole different team. This is a whole different team with a whole different mindset and uh, a lot of different things uh, surround them. And uh, mentally uh, they have some other things that we have to work through. That, that, that was a different team, and this one right here is, a, is certainly different. So I, I'm not sure there's a carryover. I would like to think there was, but uh, I, I don't sense that.
If you would uh, j just talk about the, all the penalties today and uh, how you feel they impacted uh, your chances. Well, once again, the, the margin, you know, excellent question. The margin of error for us, uh, where we're at, is, is, is minuscule. And it's uh, unconscionable, really, for us to have two 15 yard penalties uh, in the first half and three offsides. Uh, Two of them by veteran players, and once again, they're they're not trying to do it or whatever. But uh, you know, we can't overcome some of that stuff. And, uh, it's just uh, we have to get it corrected and uh, do everything we can.